putting in curlers, filing her nails, bleaching the hair on her upper lip. Anne wanted to look beautiful, but doubted if she was. I asked Margot once whether she thought I was very ugly. She said I had a funny face and nice eyes. Pretty vague, don't you think? In her diary, Anne listed what she considered 12 requirements for beauty and whether she did or didn't have them. Blue eyes, black hair? No. Dimpled cheeks? Yes. Straight nose? Yes. Nice clothes? Sometimes. Far too few, if you ask me. Pretty nails? Sometimes. Intelligent? Sometimes. Anne really wanted to be an adult. She could hardly wait for her first period. When it finally happened, she was fascinated. Each time I have my period, and that has happened only three times, I have the feeling that despite all the pain, nastiness and mess, I am carrying a sweet secret inside me. With puberty comes falling in love. Before Anne went into hiding, she had met Peter Schief, a boy from her neighborhood. For a whole summer, they hung out together. But when Peter suddenly stopped speaking to her, when they ran into each other, Anne was distraught. She thought he considered her too childish. She fell in love in the secret annex too, with Peter Van Pels. It turned out that he needed someone to talk to as badly as she did. Her circumstances forced Anne to grow up quickly. When she was 15, she wrote, I have changed, and very thoroughly too. Totally and in every way. My opinions, outlook, judgment, appearance, inner life. Everything has changed and, I am pleased to say, because it's true, for the better. <laughs>